Okay, now let's tackle the next problem. Now we talked about the trigger problems, but now let's say the patient triggered the ventilator and the ventilator started delivering the breath. And for a reason or another, the patient here, let's say, before the ventilator finished delivering the breath, started or trying to take another breath, which means trying to breathe faster. But remember, the ventilator is unresponsive during inspiration. So it will not respond to this trigger from the patient. What's going to happen is the pressure inside the chest will drop. Intrathoracic pressure. Let me change the color, sorry for this. And then alveolar pressure will drop. Okay, so what's going to happen again depends on which mode we are using. In volume control, the flow here depicted against time, the flow is the target. So the ventilator wants to keep this kind of flow and based on this equation, the alveolar pressure will drop, as we said here, when the patient trying to take a breath here. But the flow has to remain constant or uh, remain the way we want it. So what's going to happen? This will drop. To keep the flow as it is, the proximal airway pressure, this one, will drop. That's what we see this notch here down, the pressure dropping to maintain the flow. As you see, the ventilator will not respond to this. So that's in flow. Uh, sorry, on volume in volume control. In pressure control, the target is the pressure, the proximal airway pressure. So it has to remain constant. So this drop in alveolar pressure will be here, will be compensated by increasing the flow so the flow if it's if it's like this it will go just up to compensate for the drop and the pressure which means tidal volume will increase because the flow will increase in pressure support it's again a pressure target so the same thing will happen um the flow will increase to compensate for the drop in pressure as explained in pressure target. So these the three possible scenarios with, with our three basic modes of ventilation. What happens when the patient tries to trigger breath while the ventilator is still delivering the breath, right? While the ventilator is still delivering the breath and it's not going to respond to that trigger. How to solve this problem? We'll talk about it next video.